Hi guys, and welcome to another edition of Unique in the Boutique. Today, we're gonna be talking kitchen, so stay tuned. Hi guys, and welcome to another edition of Unique in the Boutique. Kitchen talk is always one of my favorite things. That's where everyone congregates. That's where friends and family become one. What melds a family or even just getting together with your friends better than food? I mean, we're not in our house doing it. We're outside doing it with different restaurants, breweries, everything, right? So in the kitchen, we like to give you a double whammy. These are positive whammies though. And what that means is we have functional pieces for the kitchen that actually become decor pieces so that you don't have to have decor and usable. So with this, I'm gonna show you a lot of the pieces that we have here, which is just a big old mixture of what we carry in our boutique so that you can have both decor and function. Here on the right, I'm gonna start with a wonderful bowl set that we have. And this is for salad or any type of food that would be like noodle mixture and stuff like that, not soups but the other type of mixtures that you can use. And it comes with a server set. So you have two servers, an extra large bowl, and then you have four of the actual bowls that you put your food in, which are very beautiful as well. And with this, it comes as a seven piece set. Now, if you decide, hey, I don't need the bowls or I don't need a bowl that big to serve my salads, um, or we have a smaller family or we don't have much storage, with it, we have a large size bowl, and it also has two of the servers with it. So you don't have to purchase the full on set if you're not interested in having all those pieces, and you can still have the beautiful wood look. And I can't tell you how many times when I go over to people's houses and you see like the serving bowls and that such, hardly anybody uses ceramic anymore. I don't know why, but like things have gone to cooking stone or They've gone to different types of woods and to different accents and that such. And I think it's beautiful. When you see it sitting out on a big table full of food, it's just warmth. It reminds you of the earth. So it's just, it's beautiful. Another part of the set is going to be here. We have some beautiful bowls. This is where you start thinking uh, casserole dishes or some of like, I'm trying to think of something that's not a soup. Any type of a casserole, any type of a food, it could even be finger foods that you can serve on here. Now I stuck a plop plant. <sighs> this is a plop plant inside of it just to draw your eye to the table because being that we're in a nature scene here with all the neutrals, it gets lost real easy. But I'm gonna set this here so that I can talk to you about these beautiful bowls. Now it's one bowl sitting inside of the other. Let me see if I can grab this. And what's gorgeous about this is it's got a lower edge here detail. It's got wrought iron for your handle pieces. And it's absolutely beautiful. It's just sculpted out beautiful smooth. So we have a set of two of these. So this one is the smaller one sitting inside of the bigger one so that you can store those easy. And just to complete a look like that with wood pieces on the table, can you imagine? It's just absolutely gorgeous. You don't have to have a particular theme to have decor. Even to store these pieces, if you set them out on a shelf, you can angle these in a way that they just captures a light and just beautifies your whole display of whatever you want to display on your shelf. So these pieces absolutely double like art. You can set these any way you want in your house and they're going to capture someone's eye. Now, the last of those pieces on the table is going to be our wine server. Now this is great whenever you have your friends over, you wanna have all your wine glasses set aside. Um, and when you go out and you're on the floor and you're not exactly sure, how am I gonna designate you know, different drinks for people or that such, they've come up with wine jewelry, which we do carry. Um, but another thing is, is a carrying board like this. So you carry your bottle of wine and you slide your wine glasses in on either edge. I'm gonna grab that and take it off of that wine just to show you. So your wine bottle goes here and on either side, that's where you would put your wine glass. And this allows you to have a full on table so you can carry your pieces or you can display your pieces. Um, it's great for a table set if you don't have everything that you need to have at that moment on the table to bring over. So you have this, so this would be sitting on top of your wine. Let's say you're saving it for dessert. Okay, some strawberries with chocolate, and then you've got these, and you can hang your glasses upside down or upside right, 
on this and just set it over your wine glass. And when you're ready for it, it's all together. It's already there. So you don't have to worry about forgetting anything with this buddy. It's always there. Um, and it makes your pieces look all pulled together. And in the process, again, it's a design element. That right there grabs attention. So now you just need to put something in it that's really beautiful, right? How about these beautiful mosaic wine glasses? We have the long stem. You can see, this is big. That's like as tall as my face. <laughs> I would say if you had a glass this big, you could get two drinks out of your wine bottle. <laughs> it's really beautiful though. It's got a beautiful mosaic blue pattern where it's darker in the creases, which is textured, and then it's lighter inside, and then you have these metallic pieces around it. Could you imagine some dark, deep red in there with the blue making it like a purple look? Just, I mean, oh, the beauty in this. You can set this in a window, you can set it in a lighted cabinet, you can set this anywhere. This is gonna get attention. And we have a set, so you don't have to worry about it. So it's a set of two and a set of two. So we have two sets of two available in these long stem, beautiful mosaics. Just gorgeous. Girls, this reminds me of bathtub time. When you're laying there with all your candles lit and all your bubbles, and it's hot and steamy, and you're drinking your wine, and you're listening to your favorite music, or reading a book. This needs to be our best friend, absolutely. Now, if you're not a fan of long stem glasses, because let's say you might be a little clumsy, we have these beauties too. And these are also great for a heavier drink like bourbon or something that you're just gonna savor and it takes time to drink. Um, Drambuie, yeah, you could think of all kinds of liqueurs and stuff that you would pour in there and just sip it. These are beautiful. If you're one of those who wants to have your wine and not worry about a long stem from tipping over that such, you can have the beauty and, and this beautiful, I don't know, it's just capturing. It takes your whole mind off of the wine, honestly, and it makes wine part of the art. That's the best way I can explain it. Um, but this is a beautiful piece. So you can make a statement without having the long stem on there. But if you want that long stem, we got it. And we've got, again, two sets of these as well. So there will be four glasses of each. Next, we have a decanter set up front. And this is a beautiful piece. I've seen this before online, but I've never actually seen it up close. Somebody actually hand blew a beautiful sail ship inside of this and the glass is on a prong inside of this beautiful container and it's got the decanter actually opens. If I pull this open I'm afraid I'm gonna pull this off the stand because it's sealed. <laughs> so with this decanter it's actually painted like the earth. It can turn so you can see the shell the cells inside of the ship on here all individually hand blown. It's beautiful. It's accented with some red pieces on the sails. Um, so yeah and around the bottom of the ship it's beautiful. And it also comes with these beautiful glasses. So again, you wanna have something to sip. Here is a wonderful drink you can sip for as long as you want. And it has a stand, even better. Um, and it's felted underneath of each of these glasses. Um, so whenever you set the glasses down on this tray, it's gonna stay, it's not gonna slip off. That right there is a statement piece. If you have a place that you like to display your alcohol, you could put that just on top for decor. And still nobody would really know that that's probably an alcohol cabinet underneath of it because again, it's a piece of art. So with that, there's another way you can display artwork in your kitchen or in your living room. Here we have a wonderful picture. I love this picture because one, I'm a hippie at heart. Number two, I love muted floral designs. So this right here is an idea of what I like because I like boho and bohemian, real muted colors that all can mesh together and it doesn't have to be a designated look because when you put it together, it creates the look. Um, I just love it. Any type of materials, especially anything woven, I mean, it's just beautiful for me. So when I see this piece, it really does strike a chord with me because it's all muted, but it's all hand painted design. So it's kind of a three dimensional feel, but more of a two dimensional look. And it's got the navy blue background, which can pass as like a charcoal color if you needed to. And this is beautiful. I mean, it's got the little padded 
bottom to it. Um, inside is all of that tan color. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it's got a beautiful decorative, I'm gonna say decor and decorative <laughs> handle on here so that you can carry this piece. And it's not too heavy to really use if you wanna use this piece for water on your table during a regular meal. Um, this right here can be for anything. You can actually use this too to store if you have all of your cooking utensils like spatulas and ladles and things that require um, longer arms on them. You can place this in there and heads up, it looks really cute on a counter in a kitchen. Or you can even do flowers. Flowers always work in pictures. It's just beautiful. So let me put this piece down. All right, here beside it, we have a set of three canisters and these are wonderful. It's for coffee, tea, and sugar. So this would be great for a coffee or a tea bar um, where you can put your product together and still be able to make your coffee or your tea in the same location. It's also got the little apothecary drawers on the bottom. I'm gonna pick this up so you can see it because I do have a little decoration in there, a little flower sticking out. But it has the apothecary drawers on the bottom, so if you do have a favorite tea, or if you're a coffee drinker and you like to use the cups, you know, things like that can fit in there. Um, so it gives you the option of storage space on your counter while looking this cute, right? And it's got beautiful chicken wire to hold it around, and it doesn't have to mean country when you see that. When you're looking at this piece, it can pass as modern. If you can look at this piece, it's like a modern um, solid design. It also gives you the idea um, of a neutral base so you can fit this into any decor theme. So if you're rustic, if you're industrial, if you're modern, you know, those are very particular streamlined looks. You could put this piece in there and it would work. What's nice about these is, as you can tell, it seals. It's got a really thick rubber band on, not rubber band, but a banding of rubber around here that when you push this in, it seals shut. So you can see it's really sealed, okay? So you don't have to worry about mill bugs and other things getting in there or even humidity for like your, your sugar because then it all solidifies together. So this right here is a very cute piece. It's made so you can hang this on the wall. It's got two little clips on the back or you can set this on a counter. And because it is a drawer system on the bottom, you can set it on top of something you already have. You can put it on a shelf or you can put it flat on the counter. Um, either way, this is all gonna work for you. Now, one thing I wanna cover on this side before I follow through to the rest of this side of the table is these wonderful bright colors. Gee, what could that be? Well, let me tell you, we have Serape colored wonderful aprons and the oven mitts and the little squares, the heating pads, um, so that you can put your pots and pans and everything that you cook in on there and not burn yourself or to take stuff out of the oven or on the stove, all that stuff. But they're in beautiful serape colors. And you can see the three patterns that we have down here. Um, let me see if I can grab these. Yeah. What's really nice about these is one, they're washable. We need to have the stuff washable. It's a little thick, but not overdone. So you can set stuff on there <clears throat> and it's really gonna protect the surface under it from getting too hot. Um, and as far as uh, having beautiful, bright design patterns, you know, we always get stuff, whether it's food, drink, anything on the table, the floors, accidents happen. Um, so with that, having these bold patterns and colors, you'll never see it. It's the best. It camouflages everything. And look at the color. You can't outdo the color of the Serape. It's beautiful. So I have three up here and we would love for you to come look at them. We've got bold blue, we've got the blue with the purple, and then we have the orange red color theme here. And up here we have the Serape apron. That apron is so cute too. You put it on, you can tie the back, it's got one pocket front right there and then it just ties around and it hangs down the front. What's nice about it is it's a simple line. It's not something that's got ruffles, extra pieces on it. So it can be worn by a male or a female. It doesn't matter if you're uh, short or tall or if you're wider or thinner because the way that the straps are made, there's plenty of room to double tie or to single tie. And as far as the coverage area, it does a full cover panel all the way down the front. So when you're wearing that, you're going to be covered if you're grilling, if you're <laughs> doing any type of a grease, um, anything like that, you can protect your clothing because I don't know about y'all, but getting grease out of clothes is so 
hard. And I know I've heard all kinds of hacks, um, but I'll tell you, it's not the easiest thing to get out clothes. So if you can protect your clothing by wearing a apron on there, it's, it's a world changer, guys. You can cook in the dirty elements without having to wear the dirty elements. So great investment. It's also a great gift. I know one of my friends got one and she loves it. So here we're moving to a whole nother look. Farm, uh, what am I called? Farmhouse, but it's more like a farm country trend, okay? Some of this, like down here where it says farm table, is very country. Pieces like this can go either modern or they could go towards the country flair. Um, these right here are the metal canister sets and they're wonderful because they're very, very durable. So anything that you put in here is going to be in a good place. Um, you're not going to worry about little spaces where sugar or flour or something can come out and seep out, right? Because it's metal and it's going to be easy to clean. It's going to be easy to maintain. Um, and as far as a cute little set, these right here are little cappuccino cups. If you're not familiar with cappuccino, it's a very, very, very strong flavor of the coffee bean. And it basically tastes like you're drinking the coffee bean. So espresso is very high end, which is why the cups are so small. But these are also all metal, so it matches the set. So if you wanted to have yourself a little set, again, like at a coffee bar or a tea bar, you can have that whole set there to yourself. Have it all pretty. You'd like, again, these pieces do not have to be put away. They're cute, set them out, let them see. Add some eggs and maybe a little farm fresh sign if you want your country fill and get your look. As a matter of fact, it looks really good if you put it on a bread box. <laughs> this bread box, for instance, this is a wonderful country feel to a bread box. It's not too feminine, it's not too masculine. It has a clean look because it's in the cream paint. It's roughed around the edges, so you don't have to have that exact perfect finish to it. And it's got a shelf in the middle. I'm gonna open this towards the camera and see if you guys can see. But it's got a shelf in the middle. So if you can see that, this shelf right here allows you to have bread on top, bread on bottom, if you wanna mix it up with some rolls or some other options, absolutely. And that right there will close shut. This is a punched 10 um, little star design on the front of it so it gives you a little bit of a country flair but honestly I have nothing country in my kitchen like nothing country in my kitchen but I can put pieces like it, this and it pulls in more of like an industrial vintage look instead of it being and when I say industrial it's because I have a lot of like the metal works and wood tones like our wall here and stuff so if I were to put this in there it wouldn't feel as country as you think it would when you set it up with your decor it takes on the feel of your decor it's so cute it's functional and it's cute I love these pieces so we have two bread boxes available out there in the boutique so if one's calling your name just know we've got a rating for you all right, now off to the left. We have our firm table canister set that's also a metal rustic feel. This is definitely going to be more of your farmhouse feel. Um, it's the metal interior. And as you can hear, it seals pretty good. This isn't a floppy lid, um, but super cute, very functional. You know, if you wanted to have two different feels of canisters, you could do that. You could set one in a location with flour and sugar, so over by your stove, and then have your coffee bar with its own canister sets and stuff. Um, however you wanna do it to, you know, fix your corner the way you want it, you do that. And with this, it's only two pieces. Again, if you are limited in space, this right here could be a great option for you. So there's two to this set. <clears throat> Another thing that I have here is I have a scale. And because it's white, I'm gonna pick it up and show you, okay? This is an added element piece that you can use in your kitchen because it gives you the idea of weighing some food or measuring um, just how many ounces or whatever you wanna do for your food, but it's actually not a weight at all. It's going to be a clock. So, double task. Put something in your kitchen that looks really cute, but at the same time, it provides a function. So you always have a clock in the area you need it, right? And it's all one piece, and we do have a few other ones that are bigger. We have one in a light gray, and then we have another one that's going to be, oh, I know I'm gonna say it and it'll be wrong. It's either, I think it's red that we have. It's either red or yellow. 
pretty sure it's red that we have left because we had three we had that mint green color we had a bright yellow and then we have red and then we got the small one here that's in a white so just know the other ones have sold the only two or three that we're left with is um the light gray the red and this one so the mint green and the yellow have already been bought i believe we might still have the yellow one i have to go look <laughs> <laughs> Better yet, come see me in the store. We can look together. <laughs> Let me put this down here. Now, what every kitchen needs is a way to measure our goods. Here are some individual ideas for measuring spoons. I have found it that every time you get measuring spoons, they're ugly. Like, you just want to put them in a drawer and hide them. There's nothing fancy about them. They're just very convenient. I mean, they're usually all stuck together on a ring um, and you have all the measurements you need at your hands. But this is a beautiful way to bring in the beautiful, you know, metal tones, the rose gold colors with the woods, the captivating corner that's so boring when you put this by your coffee stand automatically starts looking pretty fancy in this rose gold color. And not only that, they're they're just absolutely beautiful you look at them they're very pretty very shiny we bought two sets of these thinking oh you know what we should have bought we should have bought at least four <laughs> we've had so many people coming through on these so if you're looking for that decorative set of measuring spoons they are available and they are beautiful again these aren't pieces you have to put away and hide in the drawer these are stunning you can see you can set these out and just leave them out and you know honestly for convenience factors when you have something that can double up as decor and also a usable function like i said it's bang for two bangs for your buck you're going to be getting a lot more use out of it than just measuring because it's so pretty and you know anybody who's seen these when they come in they complement them because it grabs that sunlight it's a softer metal color, so it's not something that just screams. Like, you know, gold and silver can be very, very bold, okay? Rose gold has a warmer feel to it, and it gives you that comfort. That feel is like easy going. It's not something that's really bold and extreme. So you can put this with any metal work. It goes beautiful if you wanna put it next to wrought iron. See these handles down here? This will go with anything. It's just stunning. So with that, I wanna say, out of all my pieces on the table, if I had to say, Gretchen, which one is your favorite? You know, I think I'm going to have to actually, <laughs> I have to go with this picture. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it. It's my inner hippie, I think, that comes out and I see the beauty and the craftsmanship. I'm an artist, so I really appreciate seeing all the design elements on here. And it's just gorgeous. It's beautiful to look at. And, you know, I know this piece would be a beautiful piece because we have um, a picture on our counter that we have all of our big ladles and, and big spoons and stuff like that in there. And I love it. It just brings an element to the whole look of the counter. It doesn't look too stuffy and it doesn't look messy at all. It's just beautiful and just free. It just looks really nice. And there's no clutter, but yet it looks like a decorative ornament when you put all of those tall utensils. It's like putting flowers in the vase. So if I had to pick up a, a piece off the table, which, you know, this is full of things that I love. So this is not an easy thing. I think I would go with the pitcher, which we have one left, just so you know. But with that, I want to say, Every week we release a new unique in the boutique and we do that so that we can cover what we have in our boutique because when you see pictures, it just becomes a whole bunch of noise. It's very hard to see individual things. So by doing this, it allows you to learn about our pieces and showcase them in a easier way to view them. But it also allows me to bring out some of my favorites. So just know this isn't everything, but it is quite a bit of our stuff. So. I hope something in your kitchen says, I need that because we have it. Everything that you see here is ready to go home. So by all means, come see it in person. See if these pieces will work for you. We have multiple pieces that are not on the table that we do have out in the boutique. This is just a few that I could fit on the table for you tonight. And I would love to be able to talk with you on these pieces. And I know I say that a lot, but it's true. Our pieces are not just... Um, pieces you would see in a main store, a big store. 
especially for brick and mortar, these are special pieces that are brought in that are not going to be like everyone else. They're individualized. That's the special part of a boutique. So with that said, I would ask that if you really enjoyed, you know, learning some stuff about our boutique tonight, or if there's something that I have covered in the past or something you would like for me to cover, please notate it in the comments. And if you would please like and subscribe to our channel, we would be glad to reach you every Monday evening with another edition of Unique in the Boutique on either our Facebook channel, or if you would like to watch it on our YouTube channel. I do appreciate you giving me the time to share this moment with you, and I do hope to get to meet you personally. Until then, thank you for joining tonight with Unique in the Boutique.